Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Catman Joe and welcome back to another brand new video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm teaching you all one of the most probably requested achievement tutorials that I've actually had to do. And this achievement, of course, is called Overkill, guys. So right off the bat, though, welcome to my little mini Minecraft series on my channel, which is a daily upload series where I basically teach you guys how to get all 50 of the Minecraft achievements and uh, pretty much step by step basically and this is a really simple really good series if you are looking to get all the achievements or to in a sense game platinum the series name is a noobs guide to platinum of course if you're looking to get all the achievements over minecraft i definitely recommend watching all the episodes so far i cover episode uh, from episode one to you know this episode now i don't even know which episode we're on um i cover pretty much all the achievements so far guys so the achievement that we're going for today is overkill now a lot of people have been requesting this and asking on how we do it. Now, if you guys don't know, Overkill is an incredibly hardcore achievement to get. Uh, it, isn't, it isn't like incredibly hardcore, but a lot of people just don't seem to actually know how to do it. And I originally didn't either. It took me quite a while to learn, but now I do, guys. Uh, believe it or not. So for this achievement, you are going to need a lot of XP levels. At least, you know, at least, and I say this, at least 30 um, to actually do this, of course, all right? And that's because you're going to need to enchant your actual sword to at least get, you know, Bane of, Orther, uh, Bane of, Orther, of Orthropods, I think it is. Smite, or I believe not back or something it's smite sharpness or author a bane of orthrods uh, orthopods even sorry about that and all you're gonna need to do is basically run at an enemy and attack it now if you guys don't know if you guys look at the sword right now it says plus 7.0 attack damage that's how much damage your sword does uh, your sword actually does and to make it do more damage as you can see here you're gonna need to actually make sure you've got a uh, what's it you know a much higher enchantment so I'm gonna put this in here we're looking for not looting we're looking for smite okay that's meh, that's all right uh, now there's another sword in here. Every sword has like a set enchantment kind of thing. I'm pretty sure. It's like if we look here, this one may have a different one, it may not. Uh, smite or looting. Let's try and switch it with this one now. Hold up. Uh, let's try here. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, do do. No, I see. It looks like I'm wrong here. Uh, do 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 do. Is it is it gonna is it gonna be like this? Is it is it gonna be like this? All right. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna save and uh, or I'm gonna disable all save right now, as you guys can probably see. Just in case I don't get the right enchantment, so I can just exit and then uh, we're gonna get this one here. Even though, all right, look, there you go. Bane of the Arthropods, which this one will do, I believe, seven damage still. But with that, I'm, I'm pretty sure it should do some more. But now we should be able to get something a little bit better. There we go. Smite IV. That's what we want, right? Smite IV. IV, I believe, is four. Uh, so, yeah. Smiting on breaking, that is pretty good. That's actually kind of like, not the best. But uh, that is kind that is really good, guys. So, now that we have Smite, um, Smite is probably one of the biggest ones because that will do even more damage, of course. What you want to do is go and find your enemy or your victim, in a sense. All right. Now, you can do this with a player or an enemy. Um, what I probably recommend is an enemy because it will be a little bit better. Now here's the thing, alright, we've got two little swords here, not too little, but we have got two swords here, right? And the thing is, guys, right, to do this, to get the most amount of damage on an enemy, obviously running over and hitting them will, you know, obviously hit them and give them damage. But if you actually, guys, if you guys don't know, it's a proven fact that if you run and jump and just before you land hit them, you actually do a little bit more damage, which is a pretty crazy thing on Minecraft. I actually didn't know this myself. But then, uh, obviously, I found out, and as you guys can see, though, here, wait, 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 what was this? <laughs> it was like I had more there. But uh, as you guys can see, though, these swords will do a lot of damage, obviously, seven or eight, you know, damage, and with that extra additional jump, that may add an extra one in. So that may just be where you're going wrong. You may have all the enchantments and stuff like that. You just, obviously, maybe are doing it with the wrong person, uh, or with the, you know, wrong type. You're maybe just doing it, like, just slightly wrong. Now, obviously, we need to wait till darkness. All right, so I'm going to wait till dark time, guys, and then uh, I'm going to cut the clip here. I'm going to wait till it turns night, and then we're going to go hunt some enemies. Alright guys, so it is actually night time outside right now, I'm actually just back in my house, I've just been sitting here AFK for a few minutes, and it is actually night time obviously right now, so I've just got some bread so we can actually be pretty alright for when enemies come, and uh, let's go hunt us some enemies, and normally they will spawn over here or down here, probably down here is a more like average point for me, as you can see there's a zombie down there, and uh, this is my smite one here, alright, so let's just try this real quick, okay, if it dies right away I'm pretty sure that means it's 9 damage, I'm, I'm not too sure, oh, I think I hit, I hit it wrong there anyway, that was good. Alright, okay, yo. There we go. All right, okay. I've already got this achievement, but we can tell we'll just test this out once again real quick. As you guys can see here, this is OP as hell. All right, that one, that was a bit of a fail. That was actually a complete and utter fail. But basically, guys, what you're trying to go for here is you're trying to kill the enemy in one hit. But yeah, that's how to get the achievement, guys. So I'm going to just try one more time real quick just to prove this fact. We'll try with the Bane of the Orthopods uh, level 4, which is actually really good as well, apparently. I'm not too sure how that works so exactly, but... I've never really thought, like, I've never really understood all the enchantments, or all the enchantments, sorry. So let's just try and find a little, uh, victim around here, come on. Where is, where is there a zombie or anything? There, is there not gonna be one? When we need one, there's just never gonna be, there's one, there's one right there. Alright, so let's try this real quick, alright, hold on, ah, uh, bang, oh, that was a fail, that was a fail. You may have just heard me almost snap my controller, <laughs> trying to freaking click the, uh, analog stick. And not the analog stick, the, uh, what's it called, thing we... Alright, hold on, let me just try this. 
Uh, see, I don't think Baron Vorfrith Pods is that good. I'd probably say Smite is the best. Because Smite just seems to kill him like one hit. Obviously, I already hit him, so it's kind of unfair. But uh, I'd probably just recommend Smite, guys. But yeah, there you go. That's pretty much how to get it. All you need to do is just try and get the achievement. Uh, not the achievement, as you can see. I just got that first time there. All you need to do is just try and get the um, enchantment, which is Smite IV. Um, not unbreaking. Unbreaking doesn't really do anything. But remember, guys, this will obviously help having these enchantments. But make sure, and I want to just recommend you say it, like recommend by saying this. Make sure you run and jump and hit the enemy. All right. If you just hit them like this, it'll still do damage, but it will not kill them in one hit. You want to try and go for the one hit, one kill kind of thing. All right. So like this. Well, that was a bit of a fail as well. Come on, can I do it on a horse? I don't think I don't think the the makers of Minecraft uh, appre appreciate me killing horses. All right. So don't tell anyone. But uh, yeah, guys, there you go. That's how to get the overkill achievement. I hope this was pretty easy and pretty awesome for you guys. Um, I know a lot of you have been requesting it really, uh, really like quite a lot recently. So I hope this was, uh, I don't know, useful in a sense. And uh, yeah, guys, anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, please be sure to smack that like button, guys. It always does help out the channel a lot. It also helps out these videos a lot and shows your love and support on these kind of videos that I do as well. Also, if you're new to the channel, please, please, please be sure to subscribe. We're on our way to 5K, guys. Honestly, I keep saying this, but I can smell it and taste it near it's like it's around the corner you know what i mean it's around the corner guys but uh, yeah anyway anyway guys other than that i'll see you all in the next video thank you for watching and peace out guys